In today's video, I'm going to share with you the complete process of becoming a nurse in the UK from Ghana. Apparently, I've got a lot of people ask me this question and you know, I'm going to take my time to share with you the processes I went through and I believe that this video will go along with to help new nurses out there who are aspiring to pursue nursing in the UK. So around the day, if you want to start it all, you know how to go about it. So if you are interested in this video, why don't you come with me as we look at that. Alright, so welcome back. If today is your first time seeing my channel, my name is Setup Watch Mine, and uh, you can simply call me Kobe. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button right under this video and then become part of the family. So, the first thing I would advise you do is to sit for an English language proficiency test. Now, this can be IELTS or OET because for you to become a registered nurse in the uk you have to register with the uk nmc now the uk nmc is the regulatory body for nurses midwives and the nursing associates in england okay and they would want to know if you can communicate effectively in english and to do that you have to sit for one of these exams IELTS or oet so basically for the IELTS, you need to attain at least band seven in the listening test reading test and then the speaking test and at least 6.5 in the writing test and for the OET you need to attain at least a grade of B in the listening test, reading test, speaking test and at least a grade of C in the writing test okay so these are the scores you need to get to be able to register with the UK NMC. After passing my IELTS what was the next step? Now I had to do my Ministry of Health clearance process. What is this process about? You see for some categories of nurses in Ghana they were bonded. What this means is that there are some categories of nurses who were given some amount of money to support their education and with this money it is expected of you to serve the country for like three to five years. I think the minimum is three years after which you have the free will to travel to whatever country you want to travel to. Now if you want to travel within the terms of your bond what happens here is that you have to pay an amount of money to say that probably you can't serve the country any longer and then you are willing to go outside. Okay so the process that comes with it is the Ministry of Health clearance process. So all you have to do is to go to the Ministry of Health and then buy a clearance form. Probably I think it's 300 cities now. Once you get a form, you've got three columns on there. The first column is about you, I mean your personal details. The second column is about your school and then the third column is about where you work. So now once all the details are filled, you have to send the form back to the Ministry of Health. And the Ministry of Health will send the form to Ghana NMC. One good thing I also say is that you can do your Ministry of Health clearance process alongside you preparing for IELTS or OET. Probably this way it will be very faster for you to start your UK NMC registration, okay? So fast forward, what happened is that after my IELTS and my Ministry of Health clearance process, um, I had to start with my UK NMC registration. I'm not going to dive much into this process because I've made a complete video about it. If you want it, I'll leave the link in the description box. Watch that video and then you get every bit of what you need to know about the EK and MC registration, including the requirements, the amount you have to pay for this and everything. So once you start with the EK and MC registration, what happens here is that the UK and MC will reach back to Ghana and MC to find out if you are indeed a nurse. And that is why I said that I should be a registered nurse. You should have your name in the books of the Ghana NMC. For Ghana NMC to declare that you're a registered nurse in Ghana, that you should have cleared yourself, it's an indication that you have the free will to travel outside the country without any stoppage or without any restriction. You know, the UK NMC will reach back to Ghana NMC to verify your eligibility. For them to go through that process, you have to pay an amount of £140. And also, don't forget that. Apparently, during those times, I had to pay an amount of money to the Ghana NMC for them to verify me as well. So, whichever way you are paying to UK NMC and you'll be paying to Ghana NMC, I don't know how much they are charging now. Now, once Ghana NMC declares your eligibility to the UK NMC, then they will authorize you to sit for a test known as the test of competencies. Now, this test of competence comes in two forms you've got the CBT and then the OSCE. Now, the CBT is written in your home country, so probably if you're a Ghanaian, you write a CBT in Ghana. And if you are from any other country, 
you write a CBT in your home country, provided you've got a center in there. And then the OSC is written once you are in the UK. Okay, so so basically a decision letter will be sent to your email by the UK NMC. And what this means is that they are just giving you the permission to sit for the CBT. And once you receive that letter, it's also an indication that you can sit for the OSC. So I mean, whichever way you can decide to sit for the OSC first for the CBT first. But for me, I chose to write the CBT first because I thought it was a very good idea and it was. As you complete almost everything and you are left with OSCE to go, you know, you have to submit your application to the EKNMC. The application fee here is £153. So until you pay that money, you can't submit your application. Now what this means is that you may have your applications online, but it is not in the books of the EKNMC. Okay, so you may have uploaded all your documents, you may have filled in whatever important information you have to fill in. But once you don't submit, your information or your name is not in the books of the UK name. So once you go through your UK name to registration process, you know, and then you are left with OSCE to write, then you can start applying for UK nursing jobs. Okay, you can start searching and applying for UK nursing jobs. Because most employers in here would want to know that you're only left with OSCE to write. Because once you come in here, it will support you to write your OSCE and then you get your pin. Um, one thing I forgot to say is that once you start your EKNMT registration, probably a portal will be created for you. On the portal, you get to know all the processes you have to go through. And once each process is completed, you see a green tick. You'll be able to distinguish between those processes that have been done and those that are yet to be done. One thing I also want to add is that, you know, the NMC application process lasts for two years. And it starts from the very first day you created an NMC online account leading to NMC portal. If let's say you created an account today and you haven't gotten all your documents ready, you haven't written your IELTS, you haven't done any other thing that is relevant to the NMC registration. What you have to bear in mind is that the two years start counting from today. Okay, so I usually advise that make sure at least you have written an English proficiency test, either the OET or the IELTS and have passed because there have been instances where people have started with their NMC registration and are struggling to pass IELTS or OET. And I've been struggling to pass the CBT. Now, in this case, the two years will elapse and they've not completed the NMC registration. And what this means is that the application will close and you have to start all over again. So now, because of the COVID and the red list issues and a whole lot of that, it's becoming difficult in terms of job search and then job applications. But all in all, just keep up. Okay. So this is just a bit of how the whole process is like. Okay. This is just a summary question. I'm not sure I've said everything. But if you think there's something important I've not said and you want others to know, leave that in the comment section. Thank you very much and hope to see you in my next video. Bye.